Drop shotting might be a mainstream technique, but you can change it up just like I do. You know, starting my day drop shotting, usually I'll begin with a minnow profile. That's why I'll reach for the Zoom Super Fluke Junior. Pretty standard profile, nothing special there. I prefer this color, the albino, because it is clear, right? So you have the option of adding different uh, dyes, different marker colors, different things to make it your own and to change it up. Now then you've got the Yum Kill Shot. The Yum Kill Shot came out two, three years ago now, maybe even longer than that. Um, but this is a three and three quarter inch bait, so it's a little bit bigger. So you're stepping up into that next size. But again, we're nose hooking this bait. So you wanna make sure that this has enough you know, ability to move around and do its thing. So essentially a you know cheaper version of the Jackal Crosstail Shad, if you're familiar with that. Great bait, great profile. These things are pretty awesome though. You know, and then my last kind of finesse bait I'll run if the fish are really stingy and don't wanna bite, I will go with a three inch tight line UV finesse tube. Now you'll see here, what I'm doing is I'm threading it up the actual bait, right? So I want the bait on the hook. I don't wanna nose hook these because these will tear very easily, very quickly and go through them rapidly. Um, but not to mention too, when a fish bites, it'll just squish out of the way and give you lots of room. You know, but if I find the fish wants something a little bigger, a little larger profile, if they are, you know, if I want a kicker fish, for instance, I will switch it up to something a little bigger. I'll go to that half ounce weight. I will usually go to a larger bait like the Caffeine Shed. So these are a four inch minnow profile. The five inch zoom flukes work decently well as well, but I've had a lot better luck with these. Um, I think it's because of the body being so small that when you, you know fish bites, it gets out of the way of the hook. And you can run these weedless, which is really nice for throwing around grass pads and you know, things like that. So you're not that worried about it. But I've had really good luck with these. Same, use, same reason I use this color, uh, which is the pearl blue glimmer. Um, it's just like the albino from Zoom. A lot of options as far as changing colors go with markers and dyes. Finally, we have the beaver profile. This is the Powerbait Thief. Uh, this is one I prefer just because it's a little more of a generic profile. Um, Powerbait isn't a bad way to go. If you're very familiar with the fishing industry, you know Powerbait is supposed to be the bee's knees, right? So a lot of guys prefer that. What you'll see with this bait, what I'm doing, is I'm throwing the whole bait on there on a four out worm hook. Now what that does is essentially it gives us very heavy, about half ounce bait, uh, you know, a lot more frame. So it's not gonna just, you know, bend over and keel over and die on me essentially. So I use this either this way or I'll actually turn it on its side. I'll use it as a bluegill profile imitator. Now I've had, I've had really good luck with that. I'll kind of show you guys how I do that really quick. So then that's all you're doing is just hooking that up just like that. Uh, you know, I'll cut these off, I'll rip those arms off. I'll run it just like that as a bluegill imitator. And I have really good success like this. Uh, a lot of guys don't do it because a little bit of weirdness to it, right? But uh, dare to be different and dare to catch more fish than the other guy. Um, if you guys want to check anything out we talked about today, I'll put it in the description down below. You know, what do you guys use? I want to know what you guys use for weights, baits, line. What's your favorite rod? What's your favorite reel for this technique? As always, guys, have a good one and good luck on the water.